Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Shay and this is Manifesting with Karmic Side Gal. So if you're new here, thank you for joining me. Please go ahead and click the subscribe button and go ahead and like this video if you're a life path too. Um, if you are an already a subscriber or have been watching my channel for a while, welcome back. So here on my channel, I do talk about ways of manifesting, how to create the life that you deserve, spirituality in general, reaching ascension, and just different ways that is overall going to improve yourself and uh, lead you into your life path. So last week, or maybe the week before that, I uploaded the Life Path 1 video and it got a great response. So thank you guys so much to anyone who watched it. And I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. So I am back again with another uh, card, another life path. And of course, in sequence of order, I am going to be doing life path two, if you can see from the description of this video. So there is um, a lot to be said about life path twos. And I'm just going to first start with the vibration of the number two from a numerological standpoint. So the number two carries the same vibration as the number one. So there are some things, some qualities that the number, the life path two have that are similar to the life path one. Um, and then also there are other numbers that carry the same vibration as life path two. So like if you are a life path five, it carries the vibration of life path two. So you should watch this as a life path five. And then also if you're a life path one, you should watch this because it carries the same vibration of the life path two. So the first thing I'm going to get started with is just showing you guys the card. So of course, just like last time, I was very intentional with the shape of the card. If you can see the shape of this card is a cross. So I created this because the Life Path 2 stands for uh, basically like the cross, but it's more in like a up and a cross type of way. It is about the energy coming down and grounding you, which is the spirits, and then the energy going across, which is the earth. So Life Path 2s are very intuitive. Um, I'm, I don't even want to jump into that yet, so... Okay, I'm going to start here on the back of the card, which I have the high priestess. The number two in tarot is the high priestess. High priestess energy is all about balancing the subconscious and the unconscious. It's all about the unknown. It's all about your intuition, following your intuition. And life path twos are the most intuitive of the life paths. Um, they just have this inner knowing about them and it, it's like they just have a feeling within themselves. Life path twos are of the moon. Um, if you can see here on the outside of the car, it is a yin yang symbol because life path twos are also known, known for duality. Um, life path one is the masculine life path two is the feminine. But the thing is that because Life Path 2 carries the energies of both 1 and 2, they are the duality of feminine and masculine. Um, so I'm just going to start here on the back of the card and start to talk about Life Path 2. It's so hard to know where to start because there's so many facts. So here, if you can see on this side of the card, first Life Paths 2s are very nurturing. Um... The moon is the sign of cancer. These are known for being just a motherly vibration, just a nurturing and caring vibration. So the thing about life path twos are because they are have this nurturing, loving side to them, they tend to give a lot. And the thing is they give so much that they may become resentful. Um, they give so much of themselves that they kind of lose themselves either in other people, which is kind of like the life path one of like learning not to be codependent on others. Um, but they're just very nurturing, just caring. 
life path twos are meant to care for others they're meant to nurture others they're meant to really heal others and make other people better versions of themselves or even just like thinking if it was a work project like your addition to the group is what's going to make something better your ideas your knowledge and just your extra care um and extra detail that you would add to something so life path twos also are very detail oriented um Life Path 2s kind of have like that mercurial energy like a Virgo or a Gemini where they are super detail oriented. They are able to see things in a very minuscule way which a lot of people won't pick up on and that what makes them such a good addition. So I'm just going to go back up to the around the car. So if you can see with the number two, I picked number two in Roman numerals because of the shape of it. I wanted to really portray that life path twos are meant to be a collaboration with other people. So they are one and one, the same vibration of a life path 11 and double the vibration or life path one. So that is why I did the no, Roman, Roman number two. Like life path one, they're meant to stand alone and be independent. Life path two is meant to be very collaborative. Um, your life path is going to be working with others. Ultimately, you are going to be the person in a group that makes the situation so much better. And you're just a very important, vital part of any process that you're in. Um, life path twos are just all about cooperation. Um, and back to the duality of them, they are peacemakers. They are mediators in a sense. They can definitely see things from both sides like a Gemini would. So if you can see here, I have um, for the picture there, it is a yin-yang symbol, which stands for duality. It stands for being able to see the good and the bad and being able to realize that even when you are in your lowest or darkest, deepest points, that there is still a light at the end of the tunnel. Life Path 2s really do balance the energies from the sun and the moon. They are able to harness like that energy from the sun but they use it in a more nurturing way um instead of like how life path ones use it to direct energy to themselves life path twos really shine a light on other people they're really amazing at that and what it says here at the bottom it says you hold the key to my heart so life path twos really do carry the vibration of love because they are so super nurturing and because they are so intuitive, that brings me back to the back of the car is that they are ultra sensitive. Life path twos are so sensitive to other people's energies. And when you're probably younger or less developed person, you kind of feel like maybe that can surface as being anxious or um, just not really liking to be in groups of people, even though that is what your purpose is because you're so sensitive to other people and other people's energies you can be the type of person that kind of get your feelings hurt easily um or just like i said being in those group settings is really hard for you until you learn how to channel that energy or even block certain energies from yourself you guys are so sensitive and so in tune with the spiritual realm um and the last one there does say that life path twos are the peacemakers like i said um so i'm gonna go ahead and bust the card open and we can talk about a little bit what's on the side so we can deep dig deeper into life paths so of course first starting out it says life path two and you guys i named you the intuitive empath because you are so sensitive and so nurturing and caring for others but your intuition is very strong i really just wanted to kind of go somewhere else other than what you know people say life path twos are because your purpose really is in harnessing your intuition listening to it and then using it to really nurture others abilities and talents so that they can become their best selves so the message that I have here for Life Path 2s is there is a gift in feeling deeply. Maintain balance in all areas of your life. You already know the answers you seek. 
as a life path too and as someone that is very intuitive even someone as an empath you often find yourself questioning your the meaning of your existence or why it is things are happening or even why things are taking so long because as a life path too you are guaranteed to require a lot of patience in this life as a life path too that's just how the way it works you're not going to be someone that really kind of like hits things right off the back or even necessarily consider lucky you're definitely going to have to work part hard in this life up until you really start to harness your abilities are you gonna reach a lot more success and it's just not e as easy said um it's not as easy done as it is said doing that so if you can see here the picture that i have is of the moon because like i said life path twos they are uh the moon they are they do channel that big cancer energy so some people that are life path twos are diana ross michael jordan queen latifah mariah carey kanye west Whoopi goldberg damon wayans and angela bassett like i said we keep it black over here so i wanted to list all black people on the card this kind of just gives you a general idea idea of what people that are life path twos are like Life path twos are going to people be the people that play the background or more in the shadow or just in general work better in group or collaborative type of projects. Not to say that you can't get things done on your own, but you're just meant to make things better. That is just your purpose in this life, period. Um, and then on this side here, I do have an equal sign because life path twos, like I said, they're all about the duality, but they're really all about finding and maintaining, ba maintaining balance, creating balance in their life, and then that being a ripple effect to create balance in other people's lives as well. Like I said, life path two has to harness the feminine and the masculine energies so that they can be a balanced, well-rounded person. Um, you know, so that they are able to effectively communicate and just nurture in the how people need to be nurtured. That is what Life Path 2s are all about. So what I was saying before, as I just wanted to get into the car, is that Life Path 2s, they are very nurturing. They're very caring and loving, and they really just find comfort and it makes them happy to make other people's happy. Now, sometimes with that, there is a pitfall because life path twos give too much. Like, that's just on period. And when you give too much of yourself, this is not just a life path, life path two thing. Anyone this quality can resonate with. But you just tend to give so much and it kind of leaves yourself depleted. And that's not really a balanced energy. Life path twos in this life, you guys have to learn how much to give and how much to keep for yourself. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the type of careers that life path two should have. So life path two um, are going to be good at any job where they work from home. So whether that is like a stay at home parent, um, you know, like they just stay home and take care of the home, the household and everything, do the decorating, the cooking, the cleaning. Life path two is going to be amazing at that. But not only that, even any careers where they work from home. So like right now that we're in this pandemic and a lot of people that before had office jobs or some type of telephone or computer based job, a lot of them are working at home. And if you're a life path two, you are thriving right now. This is so good for your abilities because you are most comfortable in your home environment um you are most productive in your home environment so even if you have an at-home business or um any type of work that you could really do from home you'll be good at and then the next one that i have is a lawyer so life path twos will make excellent lawyers because uh, they're able to see so many different sides. Like I said, they have that big Gemini energy, that big Libra energy where they just want to see things balanced 
and they want to see things equal and they want to see everybody get the outcome that they deserve so they will make excellent lawyers especially because they're good at working with people and as a nurturer they find it easy to advocate for others um, another great career for life path twos are going to be a life coach because like i said they are meant to work with other people and they're made to make other people better this is the most perfect um type of career for a life path to and really even they carry the same vibration as the life path four because that will be a great job for life path fours as well as a life coach you're going to be someone that is directing people in the right areas on how it is that they can make their lives better or just work better so that they can reach their goals. So Life Path 2 will be really great at that. First, because that's a job that you can do from home, especially now um, you can be some type of therapist or life coach and be at home doing that. Like that is perfectly okay or whatever. Um, and then of course the next one is a therapist. So because people that do therapy, they literally help heal people. Um, which is the next job, which is a holistic healer. Any type of healing, especially that can be done from home or the comfort of other people's homes is going to be like where Life Path 2 are. Um, when you think about the number two and in a sense of astrology, the second house is the house of the home. So that means that is where Life Path 2s are going to be able to it's going to be their strong suit. They're going to generate the most income there. So if you're a life path too, and you're not doing some type of career field that you can do at home, maybe you might want to think about how you can transition your business that way, because I promise you, it will be a lot more lucrative if you are able to work from home doing it. Um, and really even being self-employed too, if you're at home. So if you're some type of creative or, um, even if you're a customer service representative, anything like that, where ultimately you're helping other people, you're going to be great at that because you can do those jobs at home. Um, even people like a massage therapist or like what I do with esthetician, they are holistic healers. Um, maybe someone that like is a reputable crystal dealer, like Anything that is going to be from home, but ultimately you're going to be helping others, collaborating with others to make themselves better, then Life Path 2, you will be amazing at those jobs. Um, and then we're going to go down into like the shadow side of Life Path 2s and what are some things that in this lifetime for you guys that will kind of be holding you back or make it harder for you during this lifetime. Just things that you'll need to work on. Life path twos tend to be combative. Um, it's just something that is like a lower vibrational trait of theirs because they are meant to work with others, but at first it's really not a comfortable space working with others and hearing other people's inputs on your ideas and stuff like that. So a lot of times you can like be a life path two and someone will tell you something and may not resonate with you immediately, or you might even just feel offended that they had the nerve to tell you that in the first place. And that will make you have like a combative response to that because it's just like, who are you to tell me what I'm doing is wrong? So that's just something general life paths could be working on. And then back to what I was saying earlier, life path twos do tend to be resentful of people, places, and circumstances because they give so much, they put so much effort and energy into things. And sometimes when you give so much or you're used to being the giver, you really don't get that stuff back. Life path twos are very likely to be taken advantage of during this lifetime if they don't have like boundaries in place. Uh, which is another thing that's like in the vibration of life path one you have to have some type of boundaries in place so that people aren't taking advantage of you or walking all over you um and if you don't have those boundaries in place and then you do get taken advantage of then you become resentful of that person or that circumstance like oh this person did that to me or i did so much for them and i didn't get anything returned and it like kind of makes you bitter in a sense so life path twos, you just want to be very careful with that because, you know, you want to live your life with a forgetful heart space. You want, not forgetful, forgiving heart space, excuse me. 
Um, you want to be able to uh, forgive others as easily as you love others and just have compassion for them that a lot of the times what people are doing to you or their energy towards you is really just a reflection of how they feel about themselves and just try not to take things personally. Um, be careful of being codependent, just like the Life Path ones. You guys carry that same energy as them where it's very easy for you to be codependent because you guys are meant to be a match to someone else. Life Path 2s, you might find yourself in a lot of serial relationships like dating people back to back to back or you might even find yourself um, being stuck in a relationship for a long time that probably wasn't the best for you. And it's just in general, you work better in a partnership rather that is at work or at home like in your uh, romantic relationships. So it's very easy to fall into codependency because you become part of someone else's lives. And the thing is with codependency is that you want to make sure that you also maintain the things that you love, um, the hobbies that you're interested in. And it's okay to share some hobbies with your partner or even with your friends or family members. But you want to make sure that you have your own persona outside of that so that you don't become codependent. It is nothing wrong with being in a relationship it's nothing wrong with putting your relationship first really as long as you are still maintaining your own identity because you just don't want to lose yourself in a relationship because once you lose yourself that means you have to find yourself and that means that you've taken five steps backwards when you could have been 10 steps ahead so what I was saying before about life path to just generally giving so much of themselves, they tend to over compromise, not just in relationships, not just in romantic or platonic or familiar relationships, but even at work. It's like you guys will be the person that's just like, oh, no, I'll get the last piece of work done. Don't worry about it. And then you find yourself every night of the week working late because you offer to do the last piece of work every time. Like, don't do that. You have to make sure that you are giving yourself enough self-care um, and not pouring so much into others that you are depleted and empty. It's super important, life have tos, because you just have that nurturing quality that you learn how to find balance in your life where you're nurturing yourself just as much as you are nurturing and giving to other people. Life have two, 22, 22, you guys are people that are most likely to be taken advantage of but you are also like most likely to be needed so a lot of times people might like overlook you at first and then later on they'll be trying to double back on you like oh but you were the kindest person to me you really loved me the way that i needed to be loved and blah blah, blah. and it's just like it's too late for that so life path two sometimes y'all can get like a little bit stuck in the past or kind of like wishing things could have been different or something like that so you just don't want to do that and then lastly for the shadow side is life path twos they really require a lot of validation um, they really lean on people around them to tell them how good they are or how well they're doing at something because sometimes they just don't have that like natural confidence like a life path one. So you guys look for um, other people to validate you and to tell you how good and amazing you are when you really don't need anybody to tell you that like you are good. You are actually like the final piece to most puzzles excuse me, a lot of tasks wouldn't be complete in, complete without you. Relationships wouldn't be complete without you. You're probably like the person in your family where they're like, oh, this party is not the same if Life Path 2 isn't here because you really do complete things and you have to know that you are whole on your own Life Path 2. You feel such a connection to others and to being with someone else that it's really hard to see yourself alone and good enough or um even like just whole in general you don't you feel like you need somebody else to complete you and life path two you are complete and you literally have all the tools and skills required you're meant to make other people better and that means that if god put you on this earth to make other people better you 
must be a pretty good version of yourself, right? So why don't why aren't you confident about that? Why aren't you walking in your power and letting other people know like what's up? That's just something that you guys need to work on. So as far as the good qualities of life path two that you guys want to channel that's gonna get you easily through life is first don't take things personally. Like I said, you guys are very sensitive souls. So if somebody could say something to you and it could easily hurt your feelings or like you could not get picked for something like a promotion or like say even in elementary school, you got picked last to play volleyball or some dumb shit. Like you will really take that to heart, like really take that personally. And like I said, sometimes you take stuff so personally and it makes you a little bit bitter and you just don't want to walk around with a bitter attitude towards people or situations because it's really not... Um, helping you out in life. It's just making you manifest more bitterness and uh, more dislike for people in your life instead of just being open about what it is the criticism people might be having for you instead of taking it like an, a personal attack. It's not a personal attack. Just like you're meant to make other people better, it's okay for other people to help make you better as well. So the next thing, life path two, is you want to make sure that you are loving on yourself. Like love yourself first and love yourself always. You are the key. Like what I said, you hold the key to my heart. You are the key. So think about everybody else as the lock. There could be a million locks everywhere and there's only one key that opens all those locks. It's like... You don't even understand like the power that you hold because in a collaboration, it takes two, literally. One thing cannot be done without the other. That's just the way it is. So in order for all those, key, all those locks to be unlocked, it requires the key. You are a necessity. So you have to make sure that if there's other people that are going to be needing you and counting on you, that you have something to pour from. You have to love on yourself and you have to care for yourself the same that you would for other people. And on top of that, you want to make sure that that's an example for other people to treat you. The way that you treat yourself is how people are going to emulate that. If you're walking around and you're not treating yourself good, you're not managing your life well, you know, you don't have a balanced life because that is really going to be your detriment if you don't have a balanced life. You need it. Life path twos. Follow your intuition. Um, like I said, you guys are the intuitive empaths. It's going to take a minute for you to really listen to your inner voice and trust what you're saying, but it's very important that you do it. It's probably the most important thing because your intuition is going to take you a lot of places. It's your, your gut instinct of knowing things. Life path twos, you carry that high priestess energy. You guys have that high priestess energy. That means you have this inner knowing that other people are just, they just don't have those same abilities as you. You know things, you know yourself, you know others, and deep inside of you, you just be knowing when shit ain't rocking. You know what I mean? You have that natural ability so it's super important that you use that to your advantage. It's going to save you from a lot of situations and it is going to help you lead you into a lot of situations as well. Um, so just be very careful with that and make sure that you are just listening to your inner self, your higher self. Uh, like I was saying before about the boundaries, life path two is very important that you set boundaries because the thing is, is that if you don't have boundaries, then you will be taken advantage of. And once you get taken advantage of, you're going to have this built up resentment because that's just who you are. So if you don't know really what boundaries are or even how to start placing them, you want to take a moment and think about what matters to you in your life and what are these things that are non-negotiable for other people to be or play a part in your life and then you kind of want to make rules around that not like rules in the sense of like necessarily people have to follow them but just a way for people to treat you and respect you and so that you are not taken advantage of or so that you don't feel overused or like you're just giving too much of yourself make sure that you have reciprocation um and if you're not getting those things that you feel like you require then you know 
follow your intuition and it's time to cut off those type of relationships or environments around you. If it's not helping you make you better, then what is it in your life for? So lastly, uh, for Life Paths 2, the thing that is going to help you move through life a lot better is to keep an open mind. So you want to make sure, Life Path 2, that you are just open and available to what is going on around you. You don't want to be too blocked off to saying, oh, this is the only type of work I do. This is the only type of clients that I help. Because you having an open mind and really being accepting of others and the positivity and abundance that the universe wants to bring into your life then it can come to you in so many ways than if you had a closed mind and was just thinking about that one thing that you could do or be a part of um so just keep an open mind that will go hand in hand with your intuition and just really knowing yourself and knowing your capabilities and your actual abilities setting your boundaries being clear about what you want and make sure that you do not change yourself to please anyone you want to make sure ultimately that everything you're doing is from your heart and the things that you love because the things that you love will create more opportunities for other people and ultimately you will help make others better which is your life purpose life path too um, make sure that you just are not waiting around for a compliment. Give your own self compliments. Life has twos. I recommend for you guys to get in the mirror every day and do positive affirmations. Even if it's just saying how smart you are, how beautiful you are, how kind you are. I love myself. I love that I'm a life path two. I love that I'm so nurturing. I love that I am sensitive. Like I said in the message, it is a good thing to be sensitive. It really is. Because... Being sensitive allows you to have that inner knowing that something is not right or that something is absolutely right. So be open to that. Like let your abilities fly free. Don't try and like smother your abilities by, you know, moving around the way that people want you to just because it's going to benefit them. Really think about yourself when you get into a lot of situations like how is it going to benefit you? And of course, naturally, you just always want to think about the other person first, but it's very important to make sure that it is balanced there, that any type of project that you are collaborating in, that is balanced, that it's going to be good for you and just as good for them. Um, your purpose is also to give love and to receive love, Life Path 2s. So you want to make sure that, like I said, you are caring for yourself the way that you expect other people to do you. And then you want to make sure just the love that you give to others are also what you want to receive. It's just going to manifest more love in your life. And you really are just here to spread love. Like, Life Path 2 energy is very beautiful. I, The more I learned about Life Path 2, the more I felt like I resonated with this energy because I am a life path too. So I feel like between the five, the three, and the two, it really does make up a big picture of who I am. Um, and then what I was saying, going back to the second house, uh, astrology related, it's like ruled by Taurus and Taurus are known for comfort. So just never do anything that you are not comfortable with. Never work in an environment that you're not comfortable with. Never maintain a friendship or a relationship that you're not comfortable in. Do what is going to make you comfortable ultimately. And that is going to lead you to success. Make sure that you follow your intuition. And make sure that you are working with others to the best of your ability. Because like I said, you're here and that purpose is to make other people better make other things and places better so i'm gonna read that message for you guys one more time on the car it says there is a gift in feeling deeply maintain balance in all areas of your life you already know the answers you seek so with that being said i hope that you guys have an amazing week Thank you guys for the support on the channel. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Like this video if you felt like it did resonate with you. Peace out.